Welcome to an overview of the UV Toolkit. The tool offers functions to simplify aspects of the recurring UV unfold and layout process. The interface features left and middle mouse button operations and you can open option menus with the right mouse button. If an option menu is available, you can see a little list icon next to the cursor. Also keep an eye on the help line in the lower left corner. It will provide annotations on how to use each function. If the helpline is not on display, go to Windows, UI Elements and check Helpline. The tool menu is in the top right corner. The up arrow collapses and the down arrow expands all tabs at once. The next icon opens the UV Editor and you can access the UV Set Editor with the middle mouse button. The stack icon opens an about page with information about the tool, how you can reach me and further links for more about my work. The unfold button automatically cuts the selected edges, 3D unfolds and packs the shells. To access the options, use the right mouse button and check or uncheck the required operations. Please note that this function works best from a 3D camera instead of a 2D axis projection. Gridify automatically unfolds cylindrical shapes into grid-like shells. Simply select your ring loop cutting edges and run the function. The UV function unfolds your UVs either horizontally, vertically or in both directions. Use the right mouse button to choose your preferred operation. When you click the middle mouse button, it will pin the selected UVs during the unfold process. Use the projection button to create UV texture coordinates for your selected objects, either from a camera angle or the X, Y, or Z axis. The Layout button will automatically arrange and uniformly scale the UV shells of the selected objects. Within the right mouse button menu, you can define the shell rotation type and if the function operates individually on each object. The grid arrange function is object based and distributes layouts within a grid form. To specify the scale size, use the middle mouse button. Within the right mouse button menu, you can choose if the tool sorts the selected objects by polycount or not. The stack button moves and overlaps UV layouts at the origin of the editor and maintains their scale. To uniformly scale each layout, please check the option within the right mouse button menu and set a scale size with the middle mouse button. Spread distributes UV layouts based on a numeric value. You can set the value with the middle mouse button and specify the direction within the right mouse button menu. Rotate turns your UV selection clockwise or counterclockwise with the middle mouse button. You can change the rotation angle within the right mouse button menu and activate that the function operates individually on each shell. When you use the later function, please select only one UV of each shell. The UV checker pattern is useful to see if your UVs are properly unfolded and equal in size. 
you can create and assign a UV shader that has a custom 1K texture map assigned. To unassign or delete the shader, use the middle mouse button. It is also possible to set the map size from 1 to 32K. Here's an example. Right now, we only have the Lambert 1 shader in our scene, and if we click on Create, it will add the matte checker pattern shader. UV scale includes the UV equalizer and UV local scale. The equalizer is object-based and allows you to pick a source size and match the UV layout size of the selected targets. Let's say you want to scale one shell of every layout. Normally it scales down to the center of the selection. If you want to scale them at their individual midpoint, select one UV point each and use the local scale function. When you found the right size, click Done. The UV transfer tool allows us to copy a layout from one object to several other objects. In this case, the first object has a proper UV layout and the others not so much. First, set your source object and then your target objects. Then hover over Copy UVs and use the right mouse button to set your sample space and choose if you want to copy all or just the current UV layout. You can also copy from multiple sources to multiple targets. To do that, just define more than one source object. Please select your objects in the right order before you click Set. If you use the Marquee tool, Maya will randomly list your objects. The copy process will then go from source 1 to target 1, from source 2 to target 2 and so forth, and stops when there are no more sources available. Thank you for watching. For other tools or more about my work, please visit the following sites.